Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT Don. I'm Mike the Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. TNT. Yo. Um, I've read a very unique news story coming from San Francisco. Uh, there was a a man, and he was dressed as a pirate. <laughs> <laughs> I already started. Like, talking. That's most people in San Francisco, right? I, I guess. I don't so know what you're trying to say. I don't know, but pirates. Oh, get wow. Me? Oh, Holy Jesus. Look, what's what? Come on. I'm an ally, Jonas. All right. All right. I am. So this man. That's your D last night. Was. Get out of here. <laughs> was, uh, he was standing there having a verbal altercation with another gentleman. Okay. All right. Naturally. The unique thing about it. Pirates are ornery. Is that he was holding a blowtorch in his hand? Yeah, like a like a just a single can, like p- propane blowtorch. It's a little weird. I kind of feel like the blowtorch is not like the right a common t- weapon. Uh, not not the quite right time frame if you're a pirate. Like if you're going for like the full pirate experience, it's like a hook hand, yeah. like a knife, uh, like maybe a, like a single a, chamber revolver, a cutlass. You know? Ooh, yeah, but not a um, blowtorch. So, so I he guess. is he is there, and some un. Oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Some <laughs> I don't know. who you would not have guessed came to his rescue. The oh. man who was being threatened. Okay. So a man walk a random man walks up behind the pirate and rips the blowtorch out of his hand. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. And then there just happened to be two completely naked guys standing on the sidewalk. Oh. I don't I don't know if public nudity is just okay in San Francisco. Was it like during Pride Month? Oh no, just during the day. It looked like a Tuesday. Just like there was like five people on the sidewalk. I wonder if the pirate and the naked man knew each other beforehand. Maybe. It seems like, you know. Maybe. It's an odd situation so, that you find a pirate. So when and the, naked when man. the when the man pulled the blowtorch out of his hand, he immediately sw- the pirate immediately swung on the man he was yelling at. Mm. So he didn't go after the guy who took the blowtorch. He swung on the man he was yelling at. To then, which mm. the naked man tried to punch the pirate, they tussle into the street. And then the, the video that I found, the girl like runs into a shop because she's scared. Um, which we can actually show the video if you go to the YouTube channel. You want me to show not, it? Not right now. Was we'll a little bit later in the in the video. I'll find it. I, I closed it out though. Oh, did you? I did. Oh, I thought you were gonna show it. That's fine. Never mind. You can look look at it. I'll tell you what site. You go to the sfstandard.com. It's the San Francisco Standard, and it, there's the, it's on the front page of like. It's not a man now, but go ahead. Okay. So um, TNT. How would you feel if naked men came to your What the hell are we talking about right now? <laughs> How would you feel if two naked men came to your rescue? Nudist tackle pirate after random attack on tourist at Castro. Oh, okay. They were nudists. But here's the thing. They were on Whoa, the... Is, that's a lot. Is public nudity okay in San Francisco? I don't know. Public nudity. All right. Here's, here's the video. video. He rips out the the can the, so the blowtorch blow torch from him. He swings he runs on back. whoever he's yelling, who just cowers. Oh, honestly, Jonas, look look at the guy who took the blowtorch. Hold on, let's go back. Like, hold on, hold on. Is it? A, uh, oh, he's cute, right? I can't. You think? Do you is think? He wearing a dress? Look at the. No, he's not wearing a dress. He's wearing. A, he's, he he's wearing, wearing a skirt. A dre- he is wearing a skirt. Yeah. All right, look. I'm. I didn't. I just wanted to say that his run looked a little gay, but he's clearly gay. All right. So either way, the nudist. And he punches him, he punches and then the, the nudist was like, "Oh no, man!" And then he they tussle. And, if hold on, okay, here's my next thing, and we can go back to the other video. Yeah, so. we there's probably, nothing else. To yeah, it. There's really not much else going on there. Um, you can't even see anything. If I here here's the question I think I had. If I was a nudist, oh man, and I'm wandering down the road, and it's legal. I guess it's legal in San Francisco. I have to look up the law. Um, would I fight a man if I was naked in the street? I mean, yeah, if there's an injustice being done, you got to do what it takes. Why wouldn't the clothed, clothed man take on that burden? He was, didn't want to mess up his skirt. Obviously, Jonas, duh. You don't have any clothes to mess up so you can get into a fight. Um, what I will say is that it is one of my, like, I don't know if this is an unreasonable fear or if it's totally reasonable and justified, but it is definitely a fear of mine to fight a naked man. I don't want to do that. 
I'd rather fight the pirate than the naked man. I I just don't want to. I don't want to be trying to put you in like a a, a chokehold and then just feel like your balls up against my thigh. It's just like it's it's some psychological damage that you take even if you win that fight. You know. Yeah. Yeah. So I looked up if public nudity was legal in San Francisco, mm-hmm. and it is not. Apparently. So I don't know how these dudes are just... It says the only way it's legal is if you get a parade permit, and there was obviously no parade going on. might have been up. pre-parade or post-parade. No, they're always having parades in San Francisco, right? I, I mean, they're like a parade for everything? They're always having parades everywhere. Hey, well, then you better get naked. So naked. I... I don't. I guess my. Uh, there's a lot of questions from that video. Where did the guy get the blowtorch? Why, Why did he, he have it with like him? A pirate. Yeah. Why was he yelling at a man in the street? Why was there two naked dudes running down the street? Mm. I mean, you know what, Jonas? I don't know, man. The world's a crazy place, and we're talking about San Francisco. It, in my I've, mind, I'm like, do I want to live there? That I'm, sounds like a fun place to live. Sounds like a fun place to live. Yes, you can get accosted by pirates and with blowtorches. Sounds and, great. And, <laughs> and naked men are gonna come save you. Nah, bro, look, the, our tax bracket, Jonas. Uh, I don't think we'd make it in San Francisco. The cost of living's going down because everyone's moving moving out. out. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, rightfully so. The place is going to hell. But uh, yeah, I don't, mm, I don't know, man. I don't know about San Francisco. I've never been. I've always wanted to visit. It does seem like it's a wild place where like a lot of wild people live. But that's just because of the way that they uh. They treat the homeless population. They have, like, different laws and stuff out there. Kind of like Austin, where, yeah. like, the homeless can just, like, set up a tent on the side of the road, and they're cool. Yeah, you can just chill right in front of the CVS, man. It's all good. Yeah, Nobody you can, like, minds. set a tent up on the frontage road. But the alternative is going the way that uh, New York is doing it, and they have uh, they've become more stringent on, like, the, uh, the homeless population, where it's to the point where... Even if they are set up in areas that have been designated to them, they're able to be displaced from those areas. So I don't know, man. It's kind of a slippery slope because, yes, the people are displaced. would love to help them all if we could. Obviously, we can't. That's too much money. Yeah. Uh, We obviously don't like to see these individuals out there um, because it, it drags down... The, the land value of your area, it makes your area not as pretty, and plus crime, right? But the other option is you you designate certain areas for them, but that like, how do you do that? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know the answer to the question, but I do know is that something yeah. needs to be done. Well, we also have been using the non-PC word. What? I forgot. This came up before, and I couldn't think of it. It is no longer you homeless. Say unhoused. Unhoused. Where to God, dude? I know it's unhoused. Or houseless. Houseless. Or unsheltered. Unsheltered. I guarantee, Aren't they all the same thing? I guarantee you that there's no homeless people watching the pod right now and they're getting super offended and they're like, we're not going to watch anymore. If you're episodes. homeless and you're offended, put your comments in the comments for TNT right now. Or find yourself a damn place to live. Damn, that's rough. Up by your bootstraps, Jonas, right? Your booty straps? Bootstraps, Jonas, right? This is America. Greatest country in the world. Lace them up. Laces out, Dan. Greatest country in the world, Jonas. Is it? <laughs> Just asking. I mean, would you rather live anyplace else? No. Oh, I mean, is... I don't know for sure because I haven't lived anywhere else. Mm. I visited Mexico. I visited Scotland and I visited England. I don't want to live any of those places. No. Why not? What's wrong uh, with England? What was wrong with England? England was old. What'd that mean? There was a lot of people and it was old and dirty. What do you mean by that? It was old and dirty? I mean, I don't know if I could be any clearer by what I mean by that. One of my favorite rappers was old and dirty, Jonas. Yeah, he's a bastard too. I, I loved him for it. Hey, so. Great um, man. Mexico was really turned off that they had like armed men in with machine guns riding in the back of trucks. The cardle. No, no, that was like the 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 military to be prepared for the cardinal. Oh. Um, and then I'm Scotland, like honestly, I maybe could live there. I just don't know. I didn't have the greatest experience there because of the company I was keeping. There's a lot of red haired people out there in Scotland. I, I like, didn't see many at all. It was I not like, full of gingers. That's a stereotype. Is that a stereotype? I don't know if I saw any. I always feel like the hottest Scot Scottish chicks have red hair. Right, red haired freckles. I don't. Oh my Does that God, mean they're no. Scottish? That does something to me. I think you're being very stereotypical. Am I? 
I thought that was kind of synonymous with the culture. I think that's Irish, bro. I mean, what's the difference? Oh, my God. <laughs> On that know. note, that's all the time we have for today's podcast. Look. Go to thecrazytown.com. It's not racist. It's American. For Jonas. TNT. Uh, we out.